Hello, welcome back to the channel and this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings and we generally like to talk a load of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general and in this video we're going to be talking about a bit of an oddity, we're going to be talking about string railway and in this game you'll be chucking your pieces of string out onto a table to try to connect different stations to score victory points that will allow you to win the game. So in this video we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules to tell you what we do like we don't like then we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not string railway is worth your time and bother to date and in the future so remember if you are new here please consider subscribing to this channel leave a comment in that section down below and we'll see you after this bollocks so string railway how do you play this game so String Railway is a game by Hisashi, uh, Hisashi Hayashi. He's the geezer who designed Trains and Trains Rising Sun, right? So this geezer must have a bit of a hard-on for everything Trains, right? Yeah. Oh. I love Trains so much. In fact, if you look at the back of the box, the actual tagline of this is you will have to pull some strings. So. I don't know, that's probably the cheesiest thing I've read this morning, but fuck it, it's just a game, isn't it? So, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to give everyone their components. Everyone's going to get a set of what amounts to like shoelaces of different colours, right? And you're going to get your starting station and you're going to get three victory point tokens that you're going to set aside, right? So one of the players is going to set up the playing area. You've got this big fuck off piece of string. Dependent on how many players there are, you're going to arrange it in a different shape. So if you've got four players, you're going to arrange it in a square right each player is going to put their starting station on one of the four corners of the playing area we're going to assume that we're playing with a four player game you're going to put the piece of string that represents a river somewhere in the playing area and then you're going to put the piece of string that represents a mountain in the playing area as well these are both considered inaccessible unless the game tells you otherwise so the game follows a very very strict Pattern. First thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a station from the pile of station cards. Then you will place that station that you've drawn. The stations have different special abilities that will trigger when you place them. Some stations will allow you to draw another station. So in that case, you'll draw it and place it. So you'll get to place two stations in the round, right? Stations must be placed in the playing area. You can't stick it on the outside of the playing area. That would be like placing a station outside the boundaries of the universe, right? And you can't touch any strings when you place a station. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to choose one of your train tracks, which one of your shoelaces or one of your thong strings, so to speak. You'll notice that these are of varying lengths. You've got one big one and then a load of little ones, right? So you'll choose which one to place and then you'll place it from a station, trying to connect to another station. And you've got to be careful that some stations have got a company limit, which limits the amount of shoelaces that can be tied to that station, right? Sounds really weird, doesn't it? So next thing you'll do is you'll score a number of victory points dependent on how you've placed your shoelace. So you'll get victory points for each new station that touches the string. Each string that you cross will give you a minus one victory point. If the string enters an urban or a transit station, the player who that station belongs to loses a victory point. And each time one of your strings reaches a marshalling yard, you will get plus one victory points, right? So some of these stations have special rules. You might have the country station. It says when you draw the station, you draw another one. Unless you draw two stations and place two stations in that round, right? You might end up drawing the urban station and it says put one of your control tokens on a station. When you place it each time another player reaches it, you lose a victory point and that player gains a victory point. Good thing about this is that you get three victory points for reaching the station yourself right so it's a little bit of a tug of war going on with this one or you might have the lovely beautiful scenic station and this says if the station is placed on the plane it's worth one victory point if it's placed in the mountain it's worth three victory points so some of these stations have special abilities that are triggered when you place them and they bring a sort of unknown quantity to the game right so once everyone has placed all of their five strings the game's over and the player with the most victory points will be the winner of string railway so what do we like about string railway so the first thing that we really like about this game is it's quite a novel idea in it. Who would have thought that going down your local Tesco Express, getting a bunch of shoelaces and chucking them out on the table could result in a relatively fun game. There's no squares or hexes in this game. So you're not going to be sort of rolling dice or moving around or trying to sort of count out space and stuff. This is down to how you can 
best position your piece of string on a table right i know it sounds pretty boring but actually it's quite fun trying to navigate around the board in the most efficient way possible so the second thing we like about string railways it scales really well the fact that you've got this big massive piece of string that can be manipulated into different shapes means that you can have different shapes for different player counts right so in a far player game you're going to have one of them pentagram things and you can even summon satan to one of your railway stations for a few extra victory points no i'm joking so there's even a chaotic variant where you can just chuck the piece of string down on the table and hope for the best but um i wouldn't recommend that because you might end up getting stuffed if it doesn't land in a way that suits you right so yeah it's probably best to stick with the predetermined setups so the final thing that we like about string railways is the way that the game tempts you into trying to block players into their area and conversely it's in your interest to try and fashion as much space as you possibly can this sort of tactic reminds us of games like blockus and suro where you're trying to maximize the amount of space that you've got whilst at the same time trying to minimize the amount of space that your opponents have and like we said earlier the fact that you haven't got any sort of predetermined spaces you're just left to manipulate the piece of string to your liking is quite a novel idea and we quite like it so what don't we like about string railway so the first thing that we don't like about this game and this goes back to one of our positives about the way you can manipulate the playing area and the strings and stuff is that things can get moved really easily when you're trying to move that piece of string towards the station of your choice things get moved the stations move the strings get stretched and it, it, it just causes a few problems we've played this loads and loads and loads because it's really quick and simple but you do end up with people trying to place the string in dubious manners you're like did you just move that station closer or did you pull the string too far so that it just causes a few problems it, you got to keep your eye on the ball and really when a game sort of tries to entice you into accusing people of cheating then that's never a good thing is it so the next thing that we don't like about string railway is the limited card draw it sort of limits the amount of options that you've got when you play it. i suppose you could say that carcassonne has the same effect but with that it's not the card that you're drawing it's the amount of options that you've got around the outside of the playing area where you're going to be placing your tile with this you are limited to a single card each turn or maybe two cards if you draw the right station but if you keep drawing all those shitty stations then you're not really going to be able to get out the gate that sort of limits the amount of options that you've got right uh the final thing that we don't like about string railway is the component quality is pretty shit really at the end of the day i mean the station cards are really thin the victory point tokens are really really fiddly it's a pain in the neck and they're single sided so i suppose that's to hide the amount of victory points that you've got from the other players but it's still a pain in the neck trying to pick these up with your fingernails and the string tracks tend to get tied in knots when you put the game away you're going to have to make sure that you don't just throw these back in the box you organize them neatly and yeah it's just a pain in the bum the component quality it's not shocking but it's not great either so to summarize is string railway worth your time and bother today and in the future so we're going to say maybe maybe not this isn't a game for everybody the biggest draw is the novelty value of this and the fact that it just it sprawls out onto the table and you're not restricted through squares or hexes or anything like that it's a very simple idea that works quite well for what it is but it can be a little bit too fiddly and you may be forced into questioning people's dubious placements when they try and stretch that string a little bit too far right but insofar as these sort of games go it is a fun distraction but i would much prefer to play blockus and maybe suro as well if you're looking for that game where you can block your opponents and limit the amount of options that they get through the way that you place your bits and bobs right so yeah there you go that's string railway and remember if you are new here please consider subscribing to this channel leave a comment in that section down below Hit the like button and all that bollocks and we'll see you next time.